and we are joined by one of the most celebrated chefs in the country. You may know him as a Top Chef star, but he's also a New York Times best-selling author and the winner of nearly every food award ever. <laughs> ever. Please welcome Chef Kwame Onwachi. So it's nice to meet you. It's amazing to meet you. I am smelling such greatness. I'm so, my mouth is watering. I'm so ready. But before we start cooking, tell us about your new cookbook. So it's called My America. Okay. And it, Why is the name that? Because it's my version of America that I grew up eating. Okay. The way that I ate American food. Yeah. You know, the, that was my lexicon of cuisine. So it's anything from Nigerian to Jamaican yeah. to Trinidadian um, to Puerto Rican food. So I grew up in the Bronx, which is a melting pot of cuisine. Yeah. Shout out to the Bronx. Yes. Yeah. I feel like all right, that, all right. you're right, though. Like, America is a giant melting pot. It so that's, is. Yeah, that's There's really cool. so many influences. And I don't think you can talk about, like, American cuisine without talking about West African cuisine and the influence it's had yeah. on it. So, so, yeah, I talk about that, and I talk about stories of, of all the different dishes and how it came to be. I love that. Okay, so what are we making? Because it smells so delicious. So today, we're making one of my favorite dishes, okay. Jamaican beef patties. I've never had this. You've never Have had you ever had this, Ida? Yes, I'm from Miami. I had them for lunch. That's what I could <laughs> afford in high school. Yeah. Oh, it looks good. It's Delicious. like an after school snack and you eat it with cocoa bread normally. So what we have here is a dough and it's okay. mainly uh, you know, butter and flour and you'll see these speckles of butter in it. That's what makes it flaky. So okay. we're gonna take our ring mold okay. like that, all right? We're gonna punch it out. Try to get two. Okay. Okay. All right. Challenge accepted. Perfect, I got two. perfect disc. I feel like I'm in Squid Game. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. I'm afraid to watch it. <laughs> so, so. Oh wait, so you're putting meat in the middle? Yeah. So you put okay. a little bit of meat in the middle, not too much, because you want to be able to fold it over. Okay. And then you're gonna take uh, this water and you're gonna dip your finger in the water. In the water. Yep. And then you're gonna go around the edge of this. It's gonna help seal it. Okay. I've done this with like a pie crust before. There See, you I've go. done. It's I've very done simple. Stuff. Very simple. <laughs> then you're gonna fold it over. Kind of like okay. a half moon, and press all around the edges. Okay, you fold over and press around the edges. Okay, I like to talk my way through it. <laughs> you, like you, you're convincing yourself. Yeah, you're I'm like, like I am that bitch. And yes, I am exactly, exactly. <laughs> I feel like I nailed it. Do you put right. more water now on the? No. Uh, so then you no. can you can get rid of this. Put that to the side. Yeah, great. And you're gonna take your fork. Okay. And you're just gonna gently press down. Okay on the edges and seal them. All right, so we got our patties and they should look like this. Let me see okay. what it should look like. Let's hold it up, let's hold it up. Look, look at mine. All right, yeah. I'm yeah. just saying. Okay, and then we're gonna just brush it with a little bit of this egg wash. It's gonna make it nice and shiny when it, when it bakes. Oh yeah. Probably do your makeup in it, look in it and see yourself. <laughs> and that's it, you pop it in the oven for about 12 minutes. Okay, and so how long do you bake them? 12 minutes. 12 minutes? Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to ask you that. That's why. <laughs> sorry, so we got that. So through the magic of television, we each have one to try. So here we go. I'm pulling it out. All right. I didn't look up. So and there you go. <laughs> I'm excited. Are you going to use a fork? Because I'm not. So we, we have a calypso sauce here, which oh, is like a Caribbean hot sauce. So you can oh, dip it in. It's watering. Yep. Oh, that's spicy. Mm-hmm. It's good. It's good? Mm -hmm. I love spicy food. Yeah. So it's got a little kick to it. Oh my um, gosh, that's delicious. You had that every day for lunch, you lucky girl. So, so those, yeah. Those are good. It's pretty simple to make. You know, okay. there's, uh, it's all in my cookbook. You can pre-order it or yeah. you know, buy it May 6th. Yeah, um, I'm but excited it's all about there. it. Well, wait, Chef Kwame was generous enough to share his recipe with us. So go to the Kelly Clarkson Show Facebook page to get this. You're gonna want it because it's delicious. It and his cookbook, like he was saying, My America Recipes from a Young Black Chef comes out on May 3rd. But you can pre-order it now wherever books are sold. You're going to want to check it out. In the meantime, check out Chef Kwame's New York Times best-selling memoir, Notes from a Young Black Chef. You are busy, man. You have so many things going on. Way to go. I try to stay busy. Is, and that is, the memoir is being turned into a movie? Yeah, yeah. A24 picked it up. Oh, my gosh. Um, Lakeith Stanfield is playing me in the movie. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, it's going to be real. Man, be I'm so excited for you.